Uh, Mike, we're one and three. We go into the Jack Jumpers game this week. What is the feeling amongst the group and the coaching staff? We need a win. Uh, but but a, a positive energy this week of just trying to get better at the things that we haven't been great at. Such as? Defense, um, keeping the ball in front, being physical, um, and finishing plays. Yep. Um, is there some specific stuff that you've, ch I guess, changed this week as, as opposed to the last couple of weeks that hopefully might even the ledger? Yeah, we're, we're going to bring as many players in off that haven't been playing as, as possible. That's a, that's a positive change. Um, but also just, just the mindset to keep the ball in front. And uh, there's been a few things that we've done to, uh, to just make sure the guys are in the best position to do that and, uh, and just improve the talk. Uh, we need to communicate better. It might not be this week, it might be next week, but you, for the first time, might have Alan Williams and Gorjak Gak at your disposal. How excited are you as coach to have those yeah. guys on the floor? Yeah, it's just great to have them out here training with us and uh, just being a part of everything. We've been on the road some, um, so we haven't seen those guys for a week or so. Uh, but yeah, super exciting to have their energy and their skill and just uh, their voices out there. Mitch Creek seems like he's flicked a switch in the last couple of games. Have you noticed a difference in him? And is there a reason he's, I mean, putting up big numbers like he is? Uh, yes, I, th I think he's been really good. Um, and, uh, and he always leads from the front. Uh, he's just been, he's been able to train more, get more reps. And, uh, and I think that's a, a positive for him and the group. Just, just on that, I mean, there have been a fair few injuries in the preseason. Guys are warming into it. Do you, do you forecast that these guys are about to hit 100 and are ready to go and are ready to put it on the floor? I definitely think the more reps that guys have, uh, it helps them and it helps the group. Uh, when guys don't play together much, uh, it's difficult sometimes for themselves to get in a rhythm and also see where they fit and for the team to know where they fit. So I think the more we play together, um, the better we're going to be as a team and the better guys will play individually. Let's talk about you personally. This game is a special one. It's your 100th as head coach in the NBL. No coach obviously goes into their career looking for milestones, but it must be a special one for you to reach that number. It's nice, it's nice to, um, I guess, uh, reach milestones, uh, but, it, but it's not really anything that uh, I knew about before you told me or, uh, or really care about if we, if we get that win uh, or if we play the right way and give ourselves a chance to get the win, you know, that's what I'll be stoked about. Finally, we've got some visitors here. The Melbourne Football Club High Performance staff have come and had a look. What did you speak about? We've got some vision of you speaking there. Is, is there some trade secrets between the AFL and the NBL that, that you can share? You know, this was uh, really, really good to have uh, the Melbourne Football Club in. Uh, they, they were able to come in for a little bit of film. Um, get through our individual workouts and also here for team training. Uh, just, just being able to go back and forth. This was kind of introductory today for both of us, but um, just to get their points of view. And I think Aussie rules uh, kind of mirrors a lot of things with basketball. Uh, so I think there's some, some back and forth between the two games and uh, it's such a great sport. Um, and I, I hope that we can steal as much as possible from them. Um, I was just kind of listening to their thoughts on how we trained um, and the energy of the session and uh, some of the things that they saw. And, uh, and we'll go over and try to do the same at some of their trainings. That's great. One more. We are one and three on the, on the ledger, but we're one and one in, uh, sorry, we're one and oh, undefeated in home games. Yeah. How excited are you to play another home game at John yeah. Canarina? Oh, well, the energy was great in that first one. And, uh, and, I, and I think it's important to remember if you can win at home and, uh, and win a, some games on the road, you're in a good position to make the playoffs, which is, I don't really think like that. I just think let's win this next game. Uh, but it's true, we need to continue to win at home and defend that home, home court advantage. And, uh, and the voices of the people that are coming in definitely do that. Good luck on the weekend. Thanks.